Mm, what is up you guys? And of course, welcome back to another video from yours truly. Uh, before going into this video, I do want to cover the reasons I'm talking about this. Um, because this is a very, very, I would say, kind of clickbaity video, but I kind of want to at the same time debate it and just kind of, kind of see what you guys are thinking about it. Um, Mew, is it overrated? That's the biggest question here. The reason for this video in the first place is because on my Twitter account, I do a daily vote on Pokemon with their individual typing, whether or not they're over or underrated. And it's been, people have been voting on it, and it's been really interesting to see what people are thinking and, you know, debating back and forth what would be considerations for a over or underrated Pokemon. I do believe the underrated votes are more interesting because we celebrate Pokemon that aren't necessarily that much drafted in league format primarily, but overrated has been a, f a field for drama and for all the right reasons. People want to defend their favorite Pokemon. Mew is one of those Pokemon, and quite frankly, I didn't believe it would win the Psychic type overrated. Uh, if anything, I thought myself that Aesil was going to win that one. Uh, that said, there are aspects to think Mew are overrated, and while I will cover this, I will also bring my own personal opinion on what I think myself of Mew, and the reason it was on the vote in the first place. So with that said, let's talk a little bit about Mew. So what made Mew so special? Well, it isn't the stat stability or even its uh, typing. While 100 across the board, which are synonymous with all the mystical Pokemon till generation 6, um, which does make it fairly bulky and offensive and speedy, depending on what role you want to have it at, it is that what makes them so great, that they have a layer and an aspect to them that make them very, very, very hard to predict till you know their sets. Uh, but yeah, the thing that's holding this Pokemon's back is the Psychic type. Psychic type is a very, very poor defensive typing. Fighting in Psychic Resist while great, is kind of kind of holding back when you know you're weak to private lay like, with bug in mind you can be pursuit trapped which means you lead weak to darkness and of course ghost type in general since it neutrally hits everything for well, good neutral damage there are really that many pokemon that are weak to ghost type and being that means that you're just in that much tougher a spot so it's soul psychic type yeah mm -mm, not not the best typing at all that said though what makes me unique and this is this is probably the aspect that really, really makes this Pokemon OU in the first place, even till actually Generation 8, 7, <laughs> or possibly 8, I was thinking about Pokemon Go, I'm sorry about that. But like the reason is OU tier for the, all the right reasons is because it learns every move. This means that it can do everything. There really aren't, well, a lot of things this Pokemon really can't do, and uh, that, that's surprise ability that it has, actually acts to surprise really is something that makes this Pokemon really hard to deal with head on. While you know the set, it's still bulky enough to preserve that Pokemon very well. And synchronized while not necessarily the best ability, still is, well for a defensive Pokemon, could be very well to actually um, re-receive the Toxic or Burn, uh, which is always going to be very helpful towards that. And of course Roost and Recover, depending on what recovery want to go with, heal well. You know, basically what I'm trying to say is that the limitation of this Pokemon is endless. It also gets nasty plus and swords and other two ways of actually setting up. And of course it learns rock polish due to teams and whatnot. Um it has an extreme large move pool with um with even the like mystery events and has been it gets aura sphere even. I think the only thing this Pokemon doesn't get that would have been helpful is three speed and I guess we're lucky for that. Um, so with that kind of cover, does this make this Pokemon under or overrated? Um, it's definitely not underrated. I think people are definitely viewing this Pokemon as a, you know, a primer threat. But overrated is... Mm, like, if I'm going to give my personal view, like I said there, for me, overrated is something that people are celebrating even though it doesn't bring in the results. For me, a Pokemon that would be deemed very overrated is Pokemon such as Hitherlisk or Salamence. Uh, because there are so high esteem that people are viewing them as, you know, these are big threats, even though they're easily forced out or walled out. And of course, in with Salamence in mind, after Sea Fly, it's still 
it, it's kind of bad in my honest opinion. While definitely a threat in OU in some regards, and it's bad for UU, it still is not on par with, like, say, for example, Jardos, which can does its role better and aren't weak to that type of priority. Um, for me, it really is like Mew would have been broken had it been, like, say, a steel type and had um, that key resistances. I think that would have made his Pokemon Uber. If um, if I'm having like just viewing it like that, I think it really is one of those Pokemon that could potentially go up there. It is the psychic type to hold it back, and thank God it does. Because this is a Pokemon that has keep kept on actually just keep doing well. I think people that draft Mew draft it because it's a possible defogger and stealth rocker and usually used as a defensive Pokemon. This is arguments that people used on Twitter, which I definitely like I agree on that. And I think a lot of people view Mew as a very passive defensive Pokemon. But we're forgetting that, like say for example, a really good player with Mew right now is Styx. Um, a really good Poketuber on the, the token minority. Definitely a high recommendation of watching him battle. Who, which often used this Pokemon as either a Revenge Killer or a Setup Sweeper. It's worked great. Um, having the active like Leech Life, Drain Punch, and your Sword Stance, it's, it's hard to check right. Uh, and the thing here, like I said, the combination of actually being able to get every move and hit offensively means that you can pinpoint the weakness of the team itself. And if you're good on planning, you will be able to deal massive amount of damage really early and very easily with Mew because it can just pinpoint that set that is needed for that individual game. I think, like I said, the people that draft Mew, I think it's bad is the people that try to use it passively and try to have it as a all-around support Pokemon. While it does do support well, it, people tend to forget that it does everything else well also. It, it's one of those Pokemon that does well at everything and excels at even at them. The 100 base stats, while average at some time, still is you know, it's bulk round here. It's this is a Pokemon that easily is knocked out. Um, <laughs> very few Pokemon that is a psychic type that can say that. We're, we're talking basically about Cresselia at best. And even at that, that's clearly a passive Pokemon. Mew is not that. So yeah, I wouldn't say that Mew is overrated. It's definitely one of the best Pokemon in the format, and I think it's done right. There really aren't that many Pokemon or players that can deal with this individual Pokemon. Uh, I think people, like I said, they're confusing overrated with them. Um, with potentially being bad, and I think definitely not that. But calling you overrated is, I would say that people that are calling it that are people that aren't been using it right or thinking that it can't be used in a certain other way. And I think they're missing out on something great. Um, so yeah, I just kind of wanted to let that out. I kind of just want to talk about great Mew really is, and it isn't about its stats or ability, it's all, it's everything else it can do, and does it quite right. What do you guys think? I'm, I'm really wondering to hear what you guys are thinking about Mew. Um, like I said, I wouldn't consider a player that says Mew overrated is a bad player. That's definitely not what I get that. I'm trying to deviate that. The reason people are thinking it's overrated would definitely be because it's forced a supportive role, which it's a part to do it. Uh, you know, the Roost Will-O-Wisp is something a ghost type should do, not necessarily Mew, at least. it's That's the OU format, which I guess is kind of fine at best. But for me, you can do so much more in the League, it stands out because it can do just about everything. So with that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you want to see more episodes like this, please leave a like and for, for hell of it, say it on the video. I'll, you know, I'll figure something out. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.